This is a businessman from India who had cataract surgery six months early with a rain or EMV place. He complains of severe glare and uh, blurred vision. And you can see that the pupil is a bit atonic and dilated beyond the edge of the lens, which uh, is uh, decented within the bag about one millimeter toward the nails inside. The lens itself is showing some hazy changes to its material. And the endothelial cell count is on the uh, low side, around 1,000. Uh, here we're going to take this patient to the OR, and you can see the lens is a little bit dislocated within the capsular bag. We're uh, going to try to reopen the capsular bag using a dispersive viscoelastic on a LASIK cannula. But this bag is pretty well fibrosed, and uh, this is something that does tend to occur more with hydrophilic acrylics especially after uh, femtosecond laser cataract surgery. Uh, so here uh, we're attempting to reopen the bag here and the anterior capsule opening is small. So I'm gonna try to re-tear this a little bit by making a little cut in the anterior capsule and uh, using a 25 gauge micro forceps to re-tear this and make it a bit larger. Now I'm gonna try to mobilize this haptic, but the haptics of this lens have a double prong and uh, fibrosis tends to go through this uh, opening, and that fibrosis is making it very difficult to uh, mobilize this haptic, and if you just pull on it, you'll disinsert the bag. So I'm trying to cut it with a 23-gauge scissor, but there's still a little area growing through this uh, double-prong haptic that's tethering this haptic in place. So what I'm gonna do is push down on the lens with a Sinsky hook, so I can create some space between the anterior capsule and the haptic to reach in there with a 23 gauge micro scissor. I cut that fibrosis. And right there I can feel that I've snipped it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the lens a bit within the bag to make sure that it's freed up. And I can go ahead and uh, pull this haptic out of the bag. These uh, hydrophilic lens haptics are very uh, soft and spongy. Um, the hydrophilic material, as uh, you know, is prone to uh, calcification over time, uh, and uh, we don't want to leave this lens in there uh, and uh, have that happen. It's already a bit hazy, as I showed you earlier. So here we cut this uh, soft lens in two uh, and take this out in two pieces. Um, and uh, once we take this out, I'm going to uh, dilate the capsular bag with uh, viscoelastic, and we're placing a single piece acrylic lens. Uh, I chose this lens because um, it uh, has zero spherical aberration and slight decentration within the bag. Uh, won't affect the quality of vision as it would with uh, extended depth of focus lens like the Rainer. So now we've got the lens in the bag. I'm going to make the uh, capsular rectus opening uh, just a little bit bigger on the other side with a micro scissor. Uh, the lens centers very well. We remove viscoelastic. Uh, and now I'm going to try to bring the pupil down uh, using uh, 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 Myocol, as you see here. And I'm gonna stroke the pupil with a Sinsky hook and see if I can bring this down as much as possible to get an idea of how we can uh, repair this uh, atonic uh, pupil to reduce glare for this patient. Um, the uh, pupil doesn't come down as much as I'd like, uh, but I know that there's a defect in this uh, temporal iris. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, hemicirclage suture in this area. Uh, I'm using a CTC6 needle. Uh, tenoproline uh, and doing about five bites uh, of the iris. I pull the uh, needle out through a paracentesis, uh, loop the other end out. I'm going to do four throws here to create a little square knot and pull the knot into the eye and tighten it. And now the pupil is nice and round, but I feel like it's still a bit too uh, dilated for this particular patient. Uh, and would still lead to some uh, light sensitivity and glare. So I've decided to do a complete 360 degree cerclage uh, to bring the pupil down some uh, to reduce uh, the risk of uh, this patient being light sensitive and having glare, which is really his main complaint from the start. And so here we're doing a 360 degree running suture. Um, 
I would not want to leave a hydrophilic acrylic lens in uh, and do a cyclage because if the lens opacifies, uh, it would be uh, very difficult or impossible to remove without uh, destroying the cyclage. Um, and uh, this lens that was in the side previously was already showing some changes. So uh, here we go ahead and uh, tighten the uh, running suture and try to make the uh, pupil opening uh, a good size so that he won't be bothered by glare, the edge of the lens will be covered, but also so that we can do YAG laser capsulotomy safely down the road if needed, uh, examine and evaluate the retina if needed. So I brought the pupil down to a physiologic side, remove the viscoelastic, and the uh, case is uh, now completed. The uh, next day in the office at the soot lamp, the uh, pupil looks good. There is some posterior capsule haze, but the patient's seeing 2020 minus two with minimal correction. Thank you for your attention.